Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today, um, I had to remove four videos due to copyright, um, I already did this video, but I had to redo it because the sound was terrible, I watched it, and I am using Bandicam, yes, so awesome, um, let's go to this. Um, these videos are not meant to be copyrighted. I had to remove four of them due to this, so please, I'm going to read this. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use, in quotation marks, for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, education, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-copy, non-profit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Fair use definition. Fair use is a doctrine in the United States copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights holders, such as for commentary, criticism, news reporting research, teaching, or scholarship. It provides for the legal, non-licensed citization or incorporation of copyrighted material in another author's work for under a four-factor balancing test. The term fair use originated in the United States. A similar principle. Fair dealing exists in some other common law... I don't know how to say that. Civil law, and there's another word, like, word again, I don't know how to say. So please, just read it. Have other limitations and exceptions to copyright. One of the rights accorded to the owner of copyright is the right to reproduce or to authorize others to reproduce the work in copies or phono records. This right is subject to certain limitations found in sections 107 through 108 of the copyright law, Title 7 U.S. Code. One more, one of the more important limitations in the doctrine of fair use. The doctrine of fair use has developed through a substantial number of court decisions over the years and has been codified in section 107 of the copyright law. Section 107 contains a list of the various purposes for which the reproduction of a particular work may be considered fair, such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Section 107 also sets out in four factors to be considered in determining whether or not a particular use is fair. 1. The purpose and the character of the use, including whether, whether such use is of a commercial nature or for non-profit educational purposes. 2. The nature of copyrighted work. 3. The amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. 4. The effect of the use upon the potential market for value of the copyrighted work. The distinction between fair use and infringement may be unclear, not easily defined. There's no specific number of words, lines, or notes that may, may safely be taken without permission. Acknowledging the source of the copyrighted material does not substitute for obtaining permission. The 1961 report of the Register of C Copyrights on the general revision of the U.S. copyright law cites examples of activities that courts have regarded as fair use. Quotation of, I don't know how to say it, in a review of critis or criticism for purposes of a s illustration or comment. Quotation of short passages in a scholarly or technical work. For illustration or cl clarification of the op author's of observations used in a parody of some of the content work parody. Sim sim summary of an address or article with brief, brief quotations in a news report. Reproduction by a library or work to a really... <laughs> Illustrate a lesson. Reproduction of a work is in legislative or judicial proceedings or reports. In central and fortis repro reproduction. In a newsreel or broadcast of a work located in the scene of an event being reported. Copyright protects the particular way the author has expressed himself. It does not extend to any ideas, systems, 
or factual information conveyed in the work. So please, I do not want any of these videos to be taken down due to copyright. So yeah, I just read the copyright disclaimer to you. Um, so yeah. I do not want MGA to go after me. I don't want Warner Brothers to go after me. So, I, or any other company to go after me for making these videos. I make these videos for views, subscribers, and likes, and other things. So, yeah. And then I will tell you 10 reasons why I do YouTube in another video. So, please. Yeah, I wonder if Stacey Langston has any copyright l claims on her videos, because if she does, she needs these videos to get, those videos need to get deleted, if she does. So please do not go after me. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, and share this with your friends. Bye.